Welcome to Noah Yachting's video check-in for Yacht Habibi. Habibi is a 2020 Jeannot Sun Odyssey 440. Let's get you on board and show you how she works. To start your engines, first check that you're in neutral. You can check you're in neutral by pushing in the red button on the gear lever. If the red button goes in and you can move the gear lever forward, you are in neutral. Bring this back to the vertical position. When it pops out, you know you're in neutral. Hold down the power button to turn the power on to the panel. Then hold down start. Make sure there is water flowing out of the engine outtake on the aft port side of the vessel to ensure that the cooling system is working properly. To stop your engines, hold down stop. And then turn off the power to the panel. To raise and lower the swim platform, Use this line here, pull to lift up, the step will automatically rise with the platform. Make sure your shore power cables are clear as it comes up. Lock in with these latches. When lowering your swim deck, open the latches. Hold the line and push down. Make sure to lower this carefully so that you do not damage anything. When you have got it completely lowered, let it rest onto the Dyneema, leaving this loose. To operate your bow thruster, hold down both buttons at once to turn on. When the green light is on, that means your bow thruster is active. Hold down starboard to move the bow to starboard. And hold down port to move the bow to port. To turn off the bow thruster, hold down both buttons again. Now the bow thruster is inactive. Your autopilot is located here on the center console. To operate autopilot, press auto and the boat will hold its heading. To increase your bearing to starboard or turn to starboard, press plus one or plus ten. To decrease your bearing or turn to port, press minus one or minus ten and to helm manually, press standby. Your GPS unit is located here on the starboard helm station. This is your home screen of your GPS. If you slide the power button to the right, you can adjust the display brightness, take screenshots, or act activate the touch lock. Here you can press to use your chart. This is a touch screen system. You can zoom, pan, and select detail on the chart. Underneath the aft locker here you have a massive storage area. Also in here is the deck brush and the emergency tiller. Habibi has two rudders so you can operate the emergency tiller from either helm station, either this side or that side. Undo these with your winch handle and slide the emergency tiller in with the handle facing backwards. Your LPG cooking gas bottles are underneath this seat in the aft port. Here you rotate anti-clockwise to open your gas and clockwise to close your gas. If you need to change your bottle, your spare bottle is in here. You also have in here your handle for your manual bilge pump. To operate your manual bilge pump, take the handle out here, open the latch and plug in the bilge pump. Pump vertically to remove water from the bilge. Your shore power cables are plugged in here on the aft port transom of the yacht. You have two cables here, one for the 230 volts for the system and the other for the air conditioning. The cockpit shower is located here on the aft port. Open this, pull out the shower, turn on the water by pushing this switch laterally. You can mix between hot and cold water by rotating anti-clockwise or clockwise. Somewhere in the middle will be warm. Make sure you turn this off before stowing it away so you do not waste water. Your extra equipment is located in the port and starboard lazarettes. In the port lazarette you have a bucket here and a funnel for filling the outboard fuel. You have the dinghy repair kit, the spare fuel for the outboard, a hose for filling your water tanks, baler, secondary funnel, pump for the dinghy, seat for the dinghy, and oars for the dinghy. In the starboard side, you have your spear dock lines, 
spear sheet ropes and your spear anchor. You have two water tanks on board Habibi. One is filled here in the aft starboard next to the helm station. This is labelled with water and has a blue ring around the rim. The second fill point for the forward tank is on the starboard side, forward on the boat. This is also labelled with water and has a blue ring around the rim. On the port side of the boat you have your diesel fill point. This is labelled with diesel and has a red ring around the base. When anchoring aboard Habibi, open the locker here, make sure your engine is on and is excited in neutral to 1500 to 2000 revs. Take the handle. The controller here has two controls, up and down. Press down to lower the anchor. Always lower the first part slowly to avoid damaging the boat by the anchor swinging on the hull. You have 60 meters of chain on board Habibi. When raising the anchor, press on the up button. If the windlass starts to strain, wait until the boat gets closer to the anchor and then start again. Always raise the last part very slowly to avoid damaging the boat and overloading the windlass. Once you have finished anchoring, put that controller back away and close the hatch. Your technician will check your sails are in good working order before your charter. If you would like to check these yourself, roll these out or lift them up with at least two people and check them. If there are any defects and you'd like to report them, take photos with your mobile phone and report them to the office or your technician. The main control panel is located here at the chart table on the port side of the saloon. Here you have your power consumption module with applications to show you where your water tanks are and fuel tanks are and what your battery levels are doing. You also have a Raymarine system down here where you can view your details from your depth, wind and speed. You can change the pages on this by flicking through the arrows to get whichever you would prefer. Here on the main 12 volt control panel, you have your electronics by the switch here. Your navigation lights are turned on here. You can turn on either steaming lights for motoring or off for sailing. Your deck flood light, your anchor light are controlled here. This is the lighting for the entire boat inside. And this is your bilge pump. In this position here, it is on automatic. This position here, you have put it on manually. Leave this on automatic when you're on the boat and it will engage when necessary. Here you can turn on the auxiliaries and the fresh water pump is here. Fridge unit is turned on and off with this switch. Your VHF is also located here. Turn this on by holding down the power button. You can adjust your channel by rolling this dial here. The international distress and calling channel is channel 16. Channel 17, Artsy Marinas and most port authorities around Croatia will monitor Channel 17. You can adjust your volume and your sensitivity by pushing in once to change with this dial here. Push again to adjust the volume. Inside your chart table, here you have your boat papers, your Adriatic Sea Pilots and light lists for the area, also your charts, navigational equipment, a flashlight and your stationary for navigating. Down the side here you have the manuals for the boat and a hand bearing compass for navigation. All of the 230 volt breakers and fuses are located in the aft port cabin in this locker here. Here you have your air conditioning, shore power and water heater and your AC plugs throughout the boat. If you have a problem with the electrical system on board, check these fuses first and then contact NOAA services if you have further problems. The main battery switches are located here also in the aft port cabin. Here is the main switch for the motor battery. In this position it is on and in this position it is off. This is the main negative for the whole system and the power switch for the domestic 
onboard power. Okay. Also on board here you have your thermal fuse for your anchor windlass. If the anchor windlass is not working, check this. It may have flicked into the off position. Reset it to here. The emergency diesel fuel shutoff valve for the engine is located underneath the aft port bunk. In this position the valve is open in line with the line. Turn 90 degrees to close the fuel off to the engine. Habibi has one fridge located here in the galley. Opening fridge like this with a cool icebox in the top. The cooking LPG gas shutoff valve is located here underneath the stove. In this position here the valve is closed. Open this by turning 90 degrees when you're cooking. When you are finished using the gas, turn this off and turn the gas off at the bottom. Your safety equipment is located in a number of places around the boat. Underneath the chart table seat you have your emergency boarding ladder, first aid kit, tool kit, fog horn, axe for emergencies and two fire extinguishers. The rest of your safety equipment is located under this locker on the starboard side of the saloon. Here you have your sea anchor drogue, bosun's chair, a dry bag for a grab bag for emergencies, a full set of flares down in this cupboard and your harnesses and tethers. You also have your day shapes for motor sailing and anchoring. Under this seat we have the controls for your water tanks aboard Habibi. You have two water tanks to change over between. If you need to change over your water tanks, turn off the first valve by turning clockwise and putting the arrows across the line. Then turn on the second valve by turning anti-clockwise. Here you have the fuses and breakers for the air conditioning units. The breakers and fuses for the air conditioning are located under the starboard saloon cushions. Here you have the breakers for the aft and mid forward air conditioning units. Habibi has air conditioning throughout the yacht. You have one control panel in the aft starboard cabin which controls both of the cabin's air conditioning. You then have one controller in the saloon which controls the saloon and forward cabin's air conditioning. This air conditioning only runs when you're on 220 volt power connected to the shore power. Your life jackets are located underneath the forward port and starboard bunks in these lockers here. Habibi has two bathrooms. Each bathroom has a manual pump toilet, holding tank or blackwater tank and a shower with an automatic electric shower drain. For the aft starboard bathroom the holding tank valve is located here inside this white panel. In this position here it is closed, in this position here it is open. For the forward port bathroom the holding tank valve is located similarly behind this white panel in this position the valve is closed and in this position the valve is open. To operate the manual pump toilet you have two positions in which this can be in. Over this way with this symbol it will pump water only out. When it is switched this way it will pump water in and out at the same time. When it is to this setting, the bowl will naturally fill to a certain level. When you are finished going to the toilet, remove the waste by putting the switch in this position, then switch it to flush and pump 15 to 20 times to remove all the waste from the bowl and pump it up and down into the holding tank. When you are finished, swip this over to the other side and remove the excess water. Push the handle down and turn to lock into position. Remember, nothing that doesn't come out of your body goes down the toilet. Put the toilet paper and other sanitary products in the bins provided inside the locker. Thank you for watching this video check-in for Yacht Habibi, the 2020 Jeannot Sun Odyssey 440. I hope you have an amazing week. See you when you get back.